take the front chassis assembly and position it like so, so that the steering crank and the ball joints are sitting downwards. Take your countersunk screw and take the steering crank collar, that's part 10 that came with stage 11 and fit that onto there like so, taking your screwdriver and then just tightening that up. Once again, do not over tighten. Now, take your steering crank and take one of your small little countersunk screws and if you notice there, you'll see where it's countersunk. Place the screw like so. And then add the 4.8 millimeter ball nut to that like so. Taking the screw out of this one. again taking a screwdriver and taking turning it up like so now once you've got that turned back over as it shows in the picture we need to place the crank arm over the assembly Like so. So when the server servo actually moves this, that's what will be moving your steering. Now right, take the crank assembly off, put that aside, safekeeping, turn your assembly upside down, and we're going to be fitting the four spaces. So take one of your 3x6mm screws and notice where that's going on these two holes here take one of your spacers and then hold in that take your screwdriver and screw that into position now you may need some pliers once again use some nice flat ones that's tight enough and then do exactly the same for the other side putting your spacer on taking your screwdriver tightening that section up there and then we're going to be putting the last two on the front here so once again Take one of your two remaining screws, take your spacer, snip that up, take your screwdriver, while it runs away, tighten up like so, and once again. and that is what you should end up with now in this stage we're going to be fitting the upper chassis components so before we start put the crank arm back on and make sure it's in the full right position okay so right over there then take your top plate noticing that the countersunks are facing down 
and place that on top so that the two holes at the front, two holes at the rear are sitting over the four mounts that we did earlier. Now take the other section and with the protruding part here we're going to place that over the top so that that then fits into position. Now take your two screws and place one in position and snip that one up once again with the other one. I'm not going to over tighten them yet because there might be a slight adjustment I might need to do in a minute. So that one and that one like so and then take the remaining screw section pop that down into position and once again nip that one up now little tip that I use is two screwdrivers put one in the bottom one in the top and what that will do is that will actually tighten that up without that spinning do that once again like so so what you're doing is you're placing one in the bottom head here one in the top turn them clockwise once again just check make sure that your steering arm moves fine okay tighten those up and that's it just check just make sure that's sitting there nicely there's nothing sitting up okay and that completes this stage